Hello everybody. Um, back again, haven't made a video in a while. Wanted to kind of share with you what I've been up to. Um, what I got is a Variac. And I'm now running, uh, uh, I'm just running a, a positive down here and a negative all the way over here. And my Variac, I have a cord, comes out, comes down here and goes into a bridge rectifier, which I have this kind of separating because my, my leads want to touch. I'm going to clean this all up a little later. Um, not sure if that's going to show up the greatest. Anyway, I put the bridge rectifier on a big heat sink and uh, uh, that that's changing the AC voltage which comes out of my variac goes into my bridge rectifier and I get DC voltage coming out of there which then goes back in to my cell and then if I can get I guess the voltage will show up I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on so what I got I don't know if this dial is gonna show you uh, but I got it set at a right around 60 volts and at 60 volts um, we're getting 2.2 .2 volts per plate division and uh, let me see here if I can hook this in over here real quick um, we are actually Even though I got it set on 60 volts, it's actually giving me 65.2. I'm around 31 plates. And uh, the amps are right there, 3.65. So uh, we get uh, 65. Point three at uh, three point six five amps, and I'll do a real quick reading for you here. Um, let's see here if I can get this stopwatch going. All right, so mark. And this is set at 500 milliliters. Coming up on 13 seconds, 16 seconds, 19, 21 seconds. And I'll do the math later. This is actually my first MMW reading. I was running, running it all day. Um, and I had to let it cool down before I attempted a, a reading. Uh, one of the other things I was looking at, I don't know if it's going to show up, maybe a little bit, but you can see how my water level on, on the back side, it's being pushed down by the back pressure in the cell because I only have one exit tube. And uh, so I'm thinking about putting another tube coming out the back because I think it'll help with some other problems I'm having um, and uh, hopefully we can solve those problems. Oh, I wanted to thank uh, Scarecrow and, and Pat Huey for helping me out with my Variac uh, problem. I didn't know that Variacs were running AC voltage. I thought they were DC. So anyway, they, they told me how to uh, hook up my bridge rectifier and everything else and uh, that that is uh, much appreciated um, I got a 40 amp 1000 volt uh, bridge rectifier and that's how I'm running that uh, I wanted something stout so that it wouldn't burn up and that thing does get a little hot running 65 volts
but uh, or I guess 60 AC it turns out to be 65 DC and I don't really know why that is but uh, whatever um, so anyway I wanted to thank them for helping me out now I figure I'll uh, hook up my torch because of course I love running the torch and uh, go ahead and go. There is their torch. So let's uh, bring it over here and this is a tin and you can see even on tin a little bit better than an aluminum can still does the job. So, yeah, my garage is a little mess. I'm trying to get you a good, there you go. It's a little better back background for it. Um, so anyway, there you go. Uh, that's what I've been up to. I got a lot of plans for the, for the future testing. And uh, And we'll see how things go. So thanks a lot for everybody's help. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully we're going to get some pretty cool tests going. Um, and you'll see a lot more from me coming up here soon. Uh, if you have any questions on how I did the Variac, I'll be more than happy to help. Um, of course, Scarecrow and a few other people are probably a lot better to ask than me, but uh, I'll help any way I can. So you guys have a good one. Later.